Every week, entomologists with the LSU Ag Center trudge through bottomland swamps to find out what insects are utilizing the forests. The information they are gathering will be used to see how insect populations change if or when the canopy is modified by the invasive emerald ash borer. It's really difficult to predict how ecosystems are going to change when invasive species uh, arise and, and change them. But having this baseline accounting is going to allow us to do that. Ash trees are most at risk, and the scientists are studying three species of ash, pumpkin, Carolina, and green. Little is known about two of the species. The pumpkin ash and the Carolina ash are relatively understudied compared to the green ash, and we're using that as the green ash as a standard to compare the new data for the pumpkin ash and the Carolina ash. Capturing insects using the ash trees has not been a problem. More than 3,300 individual beetles have been trapped so far. There has even been a surprise or two. Uh, we found uh, one insect that was listed as uh, at risk are these plant bugs that are in a specific genus called Tropidosteptes. And uh, we actually found a few of these in our traps, which is really exciting. The borer is responsible for killing millions of ash trees across North America. And a concern is the removal of ash trees from the environment will allow invasive trees to thrive and change the ecosystem. As invasive plants like Chinese tallow move in and dominate um, where uh, ash used to occur, that's homogenizing these forests and reducing biodiversity. To control the spread of the emerald ash borer, biocontrol methods using parasitoid wasps are being implemented. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gocher reporting.